<laughs> Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for, for turning on my video and getting out your mats, getting comfortable, and doing this practice with me. So today, we're going to do a really good, efficient program of um, yoga conditioning. It's not about how strong you are. It's about the efficiency of your movement and, pa and doing patterns. So we'll create, we'll do some repetition, and through repetition, we'll become more proficient or better at the moves and get stronger, of course. And um, have fun, okay? Modify what you need to modify for your body, and let's get started right away. So come to the front of your mat right here, or the top of your mat. We're standing on the top of our mat, but reach your arms forward. Anyway, <laughs> reach your arms forward. Sink your glutes down. You're in chair pose right here. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, fold over. Inhale, half lift. So we'll do that three times. Exhale, fold to start to warm the body up. Inhale and rise. So when you lift up, standing tall, make sure your back is flat. Bring your arms forward, chair pose right here. And then exhale, fold. You can separate your feet just slightly. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale and rise. As we do this, you'll notice your hamstrings will get a little more flexible as you warm up. One more time, inhale, half lift, sorry, chair, <laughs> chair pose. Then exhale, fold, sweep the hands down, lift, lift up halfway, exhale, fold, inhale, rise, all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes for just a moment. You've arrived, we're here. We're gonna do this practice together. Paying attention, having a inward presence. Open your eyes, reach your arms forward, chair. Inhale, exhale, take another deep breath in. Inhale, exhale and fold. Inhale, half lift, plant your hands and step back to plank. Then shift forward, lower down all the way to the mat. Put your forehead down. Put the top of your feet on the floor. You can keep your hands right beside your chest. Now press the forehead down into the mat and zip up your stomach, your belly, right there so abs contracted. When af right after you, you contract the abs, then lift the legs up and then lift the head up. You can keep your hands right there, just look straight down and then lower down. So we'll do that again. First, engagement, press the forehead down, and then contract your abs right there. Engagement of the glutes, lift the legs, feel the quads or the, the glutes engaged, then lift your head, lift your shoulders, and this time lift your hands. Breathe, lower down. Do that again. Press the forehead down, abs contracted. Then lift the legs, you don't have to lift too high. Lift the head, shoulders away from the floor, not too high, let arms or hands up. Breathe, pull the shoulders back and down, and then lower down, nicely done. One more time, press your forehead down, abs contracted. Lift the legs, lift the head, lift the hands, breathe. Lower down, tuck your toes under, press into the hands, push into the mat, lift through your knees, from your knees, separate your knees, and come into child's pose. Breathe. Come up onto your hands, tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Lift up your right leg, inhale. Step your right foot beside your right thumb or through. Set your heel down, warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms up. Good, exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Right there. Step back, plank, lower down. Everyone crescent pose. Pull your shoulders away from the floor. 
Look forward, straighten the arms, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, inhale. Step your left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your right heel down. Press into this forward foot, this back foot. Pull your abs in and then lift up all the way. So about engagement of the core as you press down into that forward leg, that lunge leg, but then the back leg is your foundation as well. Bring the hands down to the mat. Bring your, lift up your left foot, downward dog, and then go through a vinyasa this time. Lowering down, hover, flip your feet, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Same thing, repeating the pattern this time. Spin your left heel down and keep your hands right here. Breathe. Abs get engaged, press into this forward foot, your heel, the toes, lift all the way up. And then lower your chest over that forward leg and just touch your hands down. Do that again, press into the forward foot, abs in, lift up. There's your strength through engagement. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, plank. Vinyasa, lower, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Bring your left foot beside your left thumb, spin your right heel down, hands right here first on the floor. Now, knee over ankle, press and do this forward foot, abs engaged, lift up. You don't have to do anything with the hands, bring them to your heart, right? And then lower down. Hands to the mat. Press into the forward foot. Abs engaged. Bring it up. Strength in the trunk, the glutes, the legs. Hands on the floor. Downward dog. Vinyasa. Lower down. Upward dog. Bring the chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Step your right foot beside your right thumb. Inhale, reach up, hands to the heart. Don't lift up the arms all the way, just stay right here. Heel down in the back, warrior one. Lean over forward, fingertips down. Press into the forward foot, hands, abs contracted. Reach your chest up. Pull the shoulders back. Excellent, hands down. Other side, step back, downward dog and go through a vinyasa. Lower, upper dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step your left foot beside your left thumb, spin your right heel down. Hands right here, engagement of this forward leg, abs contracted, lift up, hands to your heart. Right there, do it again. Lean over, hands down, bring it up. Hands down to the mat. One more time, press into the foot, abs contracted, lift up. Excellent, hands down, step back plank, lower down. Up dog, exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, pedal your heels, then walk your feet to all the way to your hands and reach for your elbows and sway from side to side. Right there, breathe. Bring your feet about hip width apart, chair pose. Sink your hips down, look forward, abs in, pulling those front ribs. Lift up your right leg, extend the right leg back. Leg to the floor or foot to the floor, so your right foot is back. Now reach the left arm behind, twist. Good, look forward, reach up, step forward, chair. So that's the move. Chair pose and stand up. Give those legs some relief. All right, let's do the other side. Inhale, chair, lift up the left foot, extend the leg back straight behind you, warrior three. Set your foot down. Right there, inhale, reach the arms up. Open up right arm back. 
Inhale, reach up, look forward, step forward. Get your balance, stand right there. Let's do it again. Inhale, chair pose. Lift up your right foot, extend the leg back, warrior three. This time, if you want to reach the arms to the sides and then back, set your foot down. Inhale, reach the left arm back and the right arm forward. Now spin, reach back, forward, step forward, chair pose, and stand. Arms down to your sides. Other side, reach forward, chair. Lift your left foot up, left leg up. Extend the leg back, reach the arms. Straight leg, set your foot down. Inhale, reach. Reach that arm back, twist, inhale, reach forward, step forward, chair. Nicely done, lift up, give those legs a break. Here's our chair pose, right here, arms forward, lift up your right leg, extend the leg back, crescent pose, one movement smoothly rot rotating, inhale, reach forward, Step forward, chair. Let's go to the right to the other side. Left leg up, step it back. All the way, crescent. Reach back, forward, step forward. Sink down, inhale and stand up. All right, roll your shoulders up and back. Do it one more time. Chair pose, reach forward, lift up the right leg, extend the leg back, same thing. Foot on the floor, reach the left arm back, then reach forward, look forward, step forward, chair. Left side, lift up your leg, so strength in controlling the movement and pattern, patterns. Inhale, reach forward, step forward. All right, we'll do that one more time. Arms to your sides. A few more times, actually. <laughs> Reach forward, chair. Right leg up. Extend the leg back. Crescent. Reach the left arm back. Reach up and forward. Step forward, chair. Other side. Left leg up. Extend back. Set your foot down. Crescent pose. Reach the right arm back. Reach up and over. Step forward, chair. Nicely done, standing up, arms to the sides. All right, give your arms a break. We're gonna do two more rounds, each side, chair pose. Right leg, lift it up, crescent pose. Reach the arms, sweep the left arm back, twist. Inhale, reach forward, step forward, chair. Left leg up, extend the leg back, Straight, set your foot down. Inhale, open up, warrior right arm back. Crescent, <laughs> inhale, reach forward. Good, now chair pose and stand up. Give your arms a break. All right, last round coming up. Inhale, reach forward, chair. Lift your right leg up, leg goes back. Set your foot down. Left arm up and reaches back. There's your twist. Inhale, reach forward. Step forward, chair. Left leg up, inhale, lift. Bring it back. Set your foot down. Right arm up and back. Twist. Reach forward. Step forward and stand. All the way up, all the way out to the sides. Pick your shoulders up and roll them back. All the way back, reach up, look up at your hands. Exhale, fold over your body. Inhale, half lift, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. So right here in downward dog, pedal your heels right and left. Reach your right leg up, inhale, step your right foot forward. Warrior one, inhale, reach all the way up, exhale, bring your hands to your heart, shoulders rolled back, 
reach up, open up warrior two, reverse warrior, inhale. So going through the warrior moves, side angle, go ahead and look down, alignment of the knee over ankle, look down, hand to the mat, lift of the left heel, downward facing dog. You can go through a vinyasa if you'd like, or pedal the heels four times. Now lift the left leg up, inhale, step your left foot beside your left thumb, spin your right heel down, warrior one first, so you're facing forward, inhale, open up warrior two, right there. Breathe in, so knee over ankle in the front, reverse, right there, and then side angle. Reach the arm over the ear, look down, bring the hands to the mat, and downward facing dog. Other side, so right leg up, inhale. Step your right foot through. Let's go ahead and open up warrior two. So we're gonna change it up a little bit, warrior two. Go ahead and reverse. Side angle, right there, reach up and over the ear. Reverse, <laughs> sweat going down my nose. And then side angle, so in side angle, Touch the floor this time. Arm over the ear, draw the shoulder back. Look down, breathe. Put the hand on the floor and downward facing dog. Lift up the left leg. So efficiency and movement with patterns. Left foot beside your left thumb, spin your heel down, warrior two. Right there, reverse. Hand goes behind the thigh. And then side angle, right there, reverse. Side angle, this time reach for the floor and hold. Arm over the ear, draw the shoulder back, knee over ankle, right there, breathe in, breathe out. Keep the head straight, don't drop the head. Look down, bring your hands to the mat, lift up that left foot, <laughs> downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, so changing it a little bit more. Right foot forward, crescent pose. So you're gonna keep your heel up in the back. Lift up first, reach right here, lean forward, lift up the left leg, right there, get ready. Set your foot down, warrior two to reverse, right there. Excellent. And now we're gonna just turn to the long edge of the mat, skater, our skandasana. Go back to the other side. We're gonna face the opposite side of the mat, skater. Look that way, the back to the back of the mat, turn, crescent pose, inhale, right there. Bring your hands out to the sides, our hands to your heart. Lean your weight forward so you've got the stability of this forward leg, the alignment. Lift up your leg, just like we did before. Breathe, set your foot down, warrior two, reverse. Skater this way, turn right there, go to the other side, to the front. Now we're gonna turn, crescent pose, right here, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Step your right foot beside your right thumb. Crescent pose, inhale, rise, reach the arms to the sides. Hinge forward with your chest. Lift the leg up, skandasana, or sorry, warrior three. Set your foot down, spin the heel down, warrior two, to reverse. Skater this way. Okay, so right side, or left side, then right side. Do it one more time, back and front. And then turn, here we are on this side again. So in the back of the mat, reach your arms up, arms to the side, weight shifting forward, lift the leg, right there, get your balance. Excellent, set your foot down. Warrior two to reverse. Skater this way, right there. Other side, bring it back to the front. Turn, 
reach the arms up, crescent pose. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Press into the mat, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels right and left. Set your knees down for a moment, coming into child's pose. Reaching your arms forward, strong breath. Inhale, exhale. Come up onto your hands and your knees, tuck your toes, lift up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Step your right foot beside your right thumb. Spin your heel down, all the way up, warrior two, reverse. And then side angle, right here, fingertips down. Now half moon, so one balancing pose. This is a great stretch for the back, the leg, the glute right here, strengthening the legs and the glute. Reach up, half moon, set your foot down. Warrior two for a moment. Bring the hands to the mat, press into the floor. Downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Bring your left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your heel down. Reverse. Side angle, right there. Arm over the ear. Reverse. And then touch the floor with your side angle. Hand forward, half moon, leg up. Look to the side, set your foot down, hand down. Press into the floor, downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right, let's do that again. Inhale, right leg up, right foot forward. Go right into reverse warrior, spin the heel down. All the way up and over, side angle. So going right into half moon, so hand forward of that right foot. So I line my thumb up with my pinky toe, flex your foot, breathe. Set your foot down, hands on the mat, downward facing dog. Left leg up. Step your left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your heel down. Warrior two to reverse. Side angle, carefully. Half moon, as you straighten the left leg, lift the right leg, open the chest to the side. Beautiful, set the foot down, hands beside your foot, press in the mat, downward facing dog. All right, so let's move on, inhale. Another balancing pose, revolved half moon. Right foot forward, spin your heel down. Warrior, reverse warrior, right there. Now look forward, crescent pose, left hand down on the mat, right there, and move your hand forward. So, and if you have a block, put your block underneath your hand, lift up the left leg, reach the right arm up, revolved, half moon. Breathe. Set your foot down, hand down, press into the floor, lift up, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale. Left foot forward, warrior two, right there. Crescent pose, inhale, right hand on the mat, forward, on the block maybe, lift up, reach the left arm up, half moon, straighten the leg, abs in, beautiful. Repeating the pattern to create efficiency. Look down, so pay attention to your movement, foot on the floor, Press into the mat, lift up, downward facing dog. Lift up your left leg, we'll do one on each side again. Revolved half moon, step your right foot, side your right thumb, spin your heel down. Reverse, right there. Crescent, inhale, lift. Right hand down to the mat. Sorry, left hand down to the mat, <laughs> revolved. Left leg up. Reach the right arm out to the side, up. Straighten the leg as much as you can. Breathe, hand down, foot to the floor, downward facing dog. Left leg, last time, up. Step your left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your heel down, reverse, right there. Crescent pose, lift your heel, 
Right hand down to the mat, forward of the foot. Lift up your leg, reach the arm up to the side. Straighten the leg, flex your foot, beautiful. Set your foot down, nicely done. Step back, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels right and left. Walk your feet to the middle of the mat. Malasana, right there. Elbows to the inside of the knees. Thumbs to the heart and breathe. Right, so let's slower down, glutes to the mat. Final part of the class. Lower down all the way. Bring your feet close to your glutes. Put your head flat on the floor. Hands on the mat. Pull your shoulder blades up underneath you. And lift up the hips right there and just hold. So I want you to maybe even press, lift up your toes off the floor. Now set your feet down, your toes down all the way and just notice the difference in the contraction in the glutes. Lift up your, the balls of your feet, press into the heels, keep your knees stable or steady. Set the balls of your feet down. Now tap right there and then lift. Do it again. Down, press your hands into the floor, lower down, and then lift, hold. So holding this glute bridge pose, lower down all the way, bring your right knee into your chest, right there. Now you're gonna hold that, flex your foot, shoulders press down, lift up the, with the left leg, and then lower. And you can let your knee go, put your hand on the floor so you can stabilize, but keep that knee in, lower, and then lift, lower, and lift. Feel the left side engagement of the glute, up and down, lift up and down, again, and then lower, nicely done. All right, so release that, bring your left knee in, Hugging the leg in for a moment and flex your foot. Press your right foot into the floor, hands on the mat. And lift and then lower. Tap the lower back to the mat right there. Tap and lift. Tap. Keep the leg in, up and down. Smooth and controlled. Lift up and lower. Do it again, one more, and then set it down. All right, a little bit further. So you can keep both feet on the floor and just lift up and then lower or bring the knee in. And I'm gonna give you another option right here. So hands on the floor. So lift up, extend, bring it in and lower. Up, extend the leg straight bring it in and then lower. You can also lift, extend the leg up straight, bend your knee and tap the lower back. Lift, extend, bring it in and then lower. Again, lift, extend, bring it in and then lower. One more time, up, think about the movement and lower, other side. Strengthening the glutes. Hi, Maxwell. All right, so opposite knee in, Flex your foot, hands on the floor, and lift, extension, bring it in, and then lower. Again, you can lift, extend up straight, that's maybe easier on your back. Bend the knee, and then lower. Lift, extension, bend, and lower. Lift up, extension, bring it in, and lower, do it again, up, extension, bring it in, and then lower again. One more time, and then lower, release. All right, so glute bridge, both sides, press your feet down into the ground, hands on the floor, pull your shoulder blades or press your shoulder blades down, All right? And lift up, and then lower, tap, up, and lower, press into your heels, the balls of your feet, and lower, lift up, 
and then lower. So your knees are stable, not moving. Lower, up, and down. Lift up, down, lift, and lower. Do it again. Excellent. And then separate your blades, pull your legs into your body. Keep your right foot, grab the outside edge of your foot, extend the left leg out straight, hip flexor stretch right there. The bottom of your foot facing the ceiling. Hamstring stretch on this side. And if you want to bring the leg out to the side a little bit more, get some inner, a little more in the inner thigh. Bring that in. And then try to straighten your leg maybe a little bit more. Right there. Pull the leg in. Press the left leg down. Bend your knee. And let's change sides. Extend, put your right foot on the floor, start like this. Grab the outside edge of your foot. And then extend out the right leg straight. Press the hand down into the top of the thigh. And breathe. Press the leg down. You bring the leg out to the side a little bit more. A little more of the inner thigh right there. And then bring it in. Try to straighten the leg as much as you can. Breathe. Pull the leg in. Press the leg down. And then bend both knees. Pull them into your chest. Happy baby. Both legs. Rock from side to side. And just for a moment, extend the legs out, right leg and left leg. Arms to your sides, palms facing up. Pick your legs and kind of kind of slap them down, releasing the lower back. And close your eyes for just a moment. Let everything integrate that we just did. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Smooth and exhale. Take a deep breath in. And fully exhale. Inhale and open your eyes. Put your feet on the floor. Rock the knees over to the side. And push yourself up to a seated position. And let's close class together. Cross your legs comfortably sit up well sit up tall i hope you enjoyed this program today with me maybe you got a little sweaty felt a little muscle strengthening so great job bring your hands together edge of the hands to the mind's eye and gratitude edge of the hands to the heart and thanks the light in me honors the light in you namaste Thank you so much. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to hearing from you. Send me any questions or make a comment. Tell me what you think and how you're, how you're feeling. See you again next time. Bye.